Hey, good morning. I only have a few minutes, but this is our Monday motivational post. I needed to share this word that's been on my heart. It's been on my heart for over a week now, and I'm about to burst. So I'm going to get right into the word and share with you my points. But here's the ultimate point that I want you to see from all of this, of what I'm about to read and tell you, is that accountability is where it's at, and it's in the word. And to support what that statement. Accountability is when you are responsible to someone else for something, okay? It's a partnership. And you are involved in the same activity together, but be out of that sense of responsibility and obligation to someone else. I'm gonna show you in the word where it says we are more profitable ourselves isn't that crazy? By the giving of ourselves and being held accountable to someone else. All right, so I'm in Galatians chapter 6, and it says, If any person is overtaken in misconduct of any sort. All right, so I want you to keep mindful of our health and fitness here today. All right? Always be thinking about health and fitness and um, you know, because I want to bring it to that next level of, you know, coaching is about your lifestyle, not just about what you put in your mouth and not just about what you do with your body um, physically in workouts, but it's also about what you're putting in your mind and in allowing down into your spirit and what you believe, okay, your thoughts about yourself and about the people around you and in your, in your environment, okay? All right, so if any person is overtaken in misconduct of any sort, then you, who are spiritual, who are responsive to and controlled by the Spirit, should set him right and restore and reinstate him without any sense of superiority. So this isn't you lording of him or saying, you know, being condescending or e any of that, right? You're thinking, I got it all together, so I'm going to help my sister out. No, it's a sharing. And with all gentleness, keeping an attentive eye on yourself, lest you should be tempted also. So don't, don't, this isn't just about pointing fingers and looking at somebody else and what they're doing right or wrong. It's about also at the same time, keeping an eye on, you know, what it is that I'm doing, right? So, you, and, and so that's encouraging because I'm not getting left out. I'm not falling by the wayside here. Um, just you know, by me helping somebody else, I'm not the I'm not getting neglected. That's the promise here, okay? Because it says, "Bear or endure and carry one another's burdens and troublesome moral faults, and in this way, fulfill and observe perfectly the law of Christ and complete what is lacking in your obedience to it." Now, I know a million times I'm com I am lacking something. Are you lacking something? Are you, or are you saying that, you know, by not entering into an accountability or a partnership with another friend, you know, we do this with good friends all the time. You know, we say, I need your help to not do this, or I need your help to see this through. Because we're saying, I am not too good. I am not too perfect, right? That I am above accountability. I am above someone else checking in with me every day to make sure that I did what I said I was going to do, that I pressed play on my workout, and that I followed through at least 90% of the time on what I said I wanted to eat to put health in my body. For if any person thinks himself to be somebody too important to condescend, to shoulder another's load, when he is nobody of superiority except in his own estimation. He deceives and deludes and cheats himself. But let every person carefully scrutinize and examine and test his own conduct and his own work. He can then have the personal satisfaction and joy of doing something commendable in itself alone without resorting to boastful comparison with his neighbor. So this eliminates that uh, annoying thing that especially us women we like to enter into you know comparing and saying well I, I know thank God I'm not that bad or whatever you know thank God my hips aren't that wide or you know I'm just grateful my tummy doesn't look like that or you know or the opposite of you know God you know I wish my thighs looked that good so for every person will have to for every person will have to bear 
Be equal to understanding and calmly receive in his own little load of oppressive faults. Number six, let him who receives instruction in the word of God share, share all good things with his teacher contributing to his support. Don't be deceived because remember he said you will be deceived if you think that you don't have to do this, that you don't need accountability. And then it says, for whatever a man sows, that and that only is what he will reap. For he who sows to his own flesh and his lower nature will from the flesh, from that lower nature, reap decay and ruin and destruction. So if you're progressing in the wrong direction, in the direction that you don't want to be going, accountability straightens you out. Answering and partnering with someone else and being responsible to someone else for your progression gets you right. All right? And then, so here's my last point here. It says, and let us not lose heart and grow weary and faint in acting this way and doing right. For in due time and at the appointed season, we shall reap if we do not loosen and relax our courage and faint. When we are holding each other accountable, we are keeping a tight grip and we are not relaxing or loosening our grip on our, our, our faith on what it is that we are hoping for. And then it says, so then, as occasion and opportunity open up to us, let us do good to all people, not only being useful, or profitable to them, but also doing what is for their spiritual good and advantage. Be mindful to be a blessing. Be mindful to be a blessing. So here's my points. Number one, we got to pray and live and walk in the spirit and we got to receive instruction from God. We got to be in tune with him. We got to kind of kind of have our antenna, antenna up so we um, know, can, can hear from him, you know, who we need to partner with where we need to go, what we need to straighten up in. Number two, bear and carry one another's load so that we, and share in responsibility with them. So, and hold them accountable and allow ourselves to be held accountable so that we can have what is lacking in our lives be fulfilled or completed. And number three, keep an eye on our own selves, examine our own work, don't hold ourselves above someone else, and then number four, share and contribute to the other, to the support of the other. Share, share, share our journey. Share where we're getting it right and where we're missing it. Be vulnerable, be transparent so that we can be of help to another person. Because in a true partnership, there's this give and take so that the full completion can be made, so that we both benefit right? And we're never lacking. That's how he fulfills the lacking places in our lives. I hope that spoke to all of you. I hope that motivates you this Monday morning. I love you all and I gotta go. Bye.